Good morning, everyone. What you need this morning are two eggs over easy and a lecture on testing. Testing is one thing that all programmers know about. Everybody recognizes it's important and most people don't do it, especially beginning programmers. There are way too many testing topics for us to cover them all today, so I'm gonna focus on one and that's unit testing. The point of unit testing is to test little units of code, right? It's writing code that tests other pieces of code. So the idea is that every unit, every function, every module, every class, essentially every line of your code has some other code that tests it that makes sure that it does what it's supposed to do. So your tests should be automated, they should be simple, and they need to be super easy to run. If they're not easy to run, if it's hard for you to run your tests, you're not gonna run them. If your tests are complicated, then when they fail, you're often not going to know what it means, why they fail, so, so you wanna keep them simple. So anytime you're writing tests, tests need to be easy, they need to be automated, they need to be simple. Most programmers who test their code use some kind of testing framework, and there are a lot of them. There are, in fact, there's so many, doesn't matter what language you're working on, there's a unit testing framework for it. In fact, so if you just stick random letters in front of the word unit, you're probably named a unit testing framework. I mean, they're, they're not all named something unit, but you get the idea. A lot of them are. For this video, my examples are in C, but, but these principles apply to any language and pretty much any unit testing framework. And you might, you might wanna know what framework I use. So currently I'm using Unity, not the game engine, but Unity, the testing framework. I use CMOC and I use Seedling. And, and I'll, I'll look at those in another, in another tutorial later. But today I wanna actually use MinUnit, which is a minimalist testing framework. And I'm, I picked MinUnit today because I wanna show you just how little magic, how, how little code you actually need to get up and running with unit testing. Okay, so MinUnit is essentially three lines of C code in a header file, two macros and one extern declaration. The macros allow you to run tests and then assert that certain things should be true at certain times. Now, of course, this isn't really all because obviously that int needs to be declared somewhere. So, but let's look at, let's look at some code. Let's say I have a function that returns the smallest integer in an array. Now I'm gonna add a few tests that test different arrays and make sure that the right number is returned. Simple enough. Uh, we can also add a few tests that try different arrays now and, ma and make sure that the right number is returned each time. And then let's make a function that runs all of our tests and then a main function that runs the tests and tells us how many of them passed. Now we can compile our tests and run them. And in your projects, you probably wanna put your tests and release code in different source files so you can compile them independently. Also, it's important to think about what cases to test. In our example, there's no way that we can test every possible input. There's just too many integers and too many arrays. So we're not gonna be able to test all the inputs. So I recommend that you look for corner cases. So these are corner cases that you know are gonna be handled differently by your code. The point is to try to test each of the different sections. So if you have an if statement, you wanna make sure you have at least one test that tests each side of the branch. You know, basically, if you go into the if statement, if you go into an else or whatever, you want to make sure that each path through your code is tested, is tested thoroughly. The point is to test the cases that you know are different, but not write so many tests that you end up with a huge pile of testing code that you can't maintain. Remember, code is code and tests are code that you're going to have to maintain. So make sure you pick your tests wisely. Okay, so I hope this gets you an idea of how you can go ahead and start adding tests to your code. There's not really a right or wrong way to do it. The point is to make it easy to do the right thing. So remember, make your tests simple, make them easy to run, make them automated. Think about putting them into your build system so that your make file just has something like make test that runs all your tests so you can do it over and over again. And the idea is that then anytime you make changes to your code, you can rerun all those tests and you can see if you broke anything. Because we all know that anytime you change code, there's a high risk that you broke something somewhere else in your code. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm out of time. We'll do more testing later, but for now I wanna post this. I hope it's helpful. As always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, let me know if there are other videos you want me to make. Have a great day and happy coding.